The California-based AI startup Codium has just announced a $65 million Series B round of funding. This is absolutely amazing. You know, we're seeing a ton of these really impressive AI code companies come out. And when they raise something like $65 million in a Series B, you know that they're, you know, a definitely a very serious player in this space. Oh. This current funding round, they're actually valued at $500 million, you know, half a billion dollars. What I think is really interesting here is the investment firms, Kleiner Parkins, um, actually led this investment round. This is, you know, a top tier uh, venture capital firm. Um, and they also had some participation from Green Oaks and General Catalyst, some more uh, really solid venture capitalists that are backing this. So Codium is going to use this new capital, all the money they've just raised to, uh, they're doing a couple things. Number one, they're going to grow their team. You want to join my crew? They're going to expand their AI powered coding toolkit. This is something that I thought was absolutely amazing. Um, Codium's toolkit currently writes over 44% of newly committed code for over 300,000 developers. This is absolutely insane. <laughs> Nice. I know for myself and my own projects, um, my developers on AI Box, the no code AI app builder marketplace that I'm currently developing. And if you're interested in investing in, we're running a crowdfunding campaign, link in the description. But my developers use like ChatGPT and, uh, you know, a lot of other different AI code tools for everything we're doing. We consult it with a lot of the stuff. Now, it's not perfect every time. Bruh. But it does an amazing job. And I think if you want it to be even better than let's just say, you know, using GPT-4, you go to AI models that are specifically trained for code. So I'm going to have to tell them definitely to check out Codium. Um, this is really, really impressive. 300,000 developers are using this and it's writing 44% of their newly committed code. That's amazing. So all this investment comes as a bunch of different companies and startups are looking to um, you know, find different specialized language models for software development. This is an area that is incredibly expensive. Um, and as we get AI that can help us with this, this is speeding up, not only lowering the costs of developing software, so this is something I'm seeing, but it's also speeding up the development time. And for me personally, it's honestly about time. Like, you know, when you're trying to get things out really fast, AI is a fast moving market. Software right now is on an absolute tear. You need to get stuff out fast. And that's exactly what these AI tools are helping to do. Yawn, four seconds. Right now, this whole space, it, we, there's a bunch of big players. Of course, there's GitHub and Amazon that are kind of, you know, making these AI code tools. Um, but this whole space is expected to be a $106 million opportunity by 2030, growing at a compound annual growth rate of over 25%, which is really, really impressive. You know, we talk about, you know, how big the AI space is and how big, you know, different sectors of that are. But just the coding space, just generating the code is worth over $106 million. I can make that much money in five seconds. That's some estimates. I personally actually think it's gonna be higher than that, a lot higher than that, but you know, that's my own opinion. Codium right now is addressing a lot of the challenges of manual software development. And of course, like just, this, it just takes a long time. Like this stuff is really lengthy. Um, these development cycles take a long time. And so it's really trying to address that. Of course you have ChatGPT and Codex that have accelerated software development automation tasks like writing code snippets and you know translating languages. A lot of these things that you have to do. Um, but I think Codium is kind of taking this to a new level with a LLM specifically for this. So Codium was actually founded by some MIT grads. There's Varun Mohan and Douglas Chen um, that both of them have a security um, focused LLM toolkit for personalized code suggestions. That's really what they built with Codium. Um, and this toolkit now supports over 70 languages and works in over 40 integrated developer environments or IEDEs, right? Um, so this is incredible to me, 70 languages are supported there. So it's not just like something that people are using in America or in English, this is all over the world. This is gonna have some major impact. So Codium can be self-hosted um, or it can be deployed on a SOC 2 type um, to compliant SaaS, which I think is important, right? Because when you're when you're using these for your own projects, you can self-host this. It's not that big of a deal. But uh, if you're a major company, this, you have to be SOC 2 compliant. And so they, they do also have the ability for you to do that, which I think is impressive. The toolkit right now integrates with existing source code management systems um, for full repository context awareness, meaning um, you can put, you, you can essentially have this working with your code repository. Like let's say you have this a massive, um, a massive app, you already have a ton of code that you've written for this thing. It, it can look at all the code in your co own personal code repository and make sure that what it's writing is um, is working 
with that. It's in the same style as, you know, different coders have different styles and, and different ways of formatting things. So it's able to follow all of that. Um, and I think that's really, really impressive, but also important. So Codium claims to own the hardware layer for large scale AI workloads, keeping costs lower than a lot of the industry competitors. Um, this is their claim. Some people are testing it. Some people agree, some people disagree, but in any case, Codium has scaled to over 300,000 users, which I think is impressive. They did this in under 15 months. And, um, I think that really this is kind of the future of where we see these go, these specialized AI models that do something very specific like coding. So Codium's AI cool toolkit has been used by companies like Atlassian, Andril, Clearwater Analytics, and a bunch of other Fortune 500 firms. So this is being used by some serious players. Um, the toolkit right now offers a free individual um, version, and then they also have a business-centric version, um, which starts at $12 a user per month, which honestly is really not that expensive when you see, like, okay, $12 a month is actually incredibly cheap when you say, when you say this thing can generate 44% of someone's new um, pushed code, right? Like you're paying these people 100,000, 200,000, 300,000. I have friends making over $400,000 a year as developers. Um, and for $12 a month, you could theoretically augment them by 44%. Like this is a no brainer. This is, this is not even a cost, it's free, right? So customer code right now is not being saved or used for training um, in the public system. I think this is important to a lot of people. Um, GitHub kind of had this problem with their co-pilot where they were like taking people's private code repositories, I believe Apple's in, in particular, um, and they were using that to train and then people were typing code and they were getting snippets from Apple's actual code repository. This is a big no-no. Nobody wants their code uh, to be stolen by other people or used for training purposes, so they're not doing that. With this current Series B funding round, um, Codium is planning essentially to grow its engineering and sales teams and then to expand its platform overall. So the goal is to cover every stage of the software development life cycle. So that includes system, design, um, code maintenance, and then of course fixing security vulnerabilities, which is really important. So Codium is right now um, aiming to make developers 20% more productive and their vision is to increase productive productivity by 20x in the future. So really, really impressive, but I think they're already off to an amazing start with this. So there's a bunch of other players um, that are currently in the same space. You have Replit, GitHub Copilot, Sourcegraph, um, Amazon SageMaker, Google's AlphaCode. There's a bunch of other players, but right now Codium is doing an incredible job and I tend to root for you know the the underdog not owned by a trillion dollar company, AKA Amazon, Google, Microsoft. So I'm really hoping that um, they're able to make uh, some impressive strides in the industry. I'll definitely keep you up to date, but overall a very impressive series B and a huge congratulations to the entire team over at Codium.